Oh, you scared the hell out of us, kid. Yeah, that was quite the nap you took there, baby face. And you still look 12. <laughs> you look okay. Are you really? Yeah. Detective West, we got a 515 in progress at Gold City Bank. Two dead. Storm's really picking up on the south side. I grab your rain gear. I'm sorry, Barry, I gotta run. Do you need my help? No, you take it easy. There'll be plenty for you to do once you settle in. Let's go, partner. Hey, Alan. Glad to see you. Thanks, Eddie. Hey, Iris. Detective, you should go. My dad doesn't like to be kept waiting. Glad you're back. The night of the explosion, Clyde Martin shot and killed Chire. Martin and his brother died trying to escape their plane crashed. Iris, got a minute? Hey, Barry. Good to see you. I'm fine. I, I just need some air, but I'll call you tonight, all right? He can run that fast, do you? Well, I believe anything is possible, and in a few minutes, maybe you will too. How's it fit? It's a little snug. At least you'll be moving so fast, no one will see you. See, you thought the world was slowing down. It wasn't. You were moving so fast, it only looked like everyone else was standing still. Dr. Wells will be monitoring your energy output and Caitlin your vitals. What do you do? I make the toys, man. <laughs> Check it. This is a two-way headset with a camera I modified, typically designed to combat battlefield impulse noise, or in your case, potential sonic booms, which would be awesome. <laughs> She don't smile too much. My once promising career in bioengineering is over. My boss is in a wheelchair for life. The explosion that put you in a coma also killed my fiance. So this blank expression kind of feels like the way to go. Mr. Allen, while I am extremely eager to determine your full range of abilities, I do caution restraint.